Kel, what's it like coming out when you've got a crowd like that that is noisy? You get the first 15 minutes where it's all about us and they're even noisier. What's it like to play in amongst all that? It's, it's brilliant. Um, the, the, the crowd was, was great today and we, we started well and that helped them cheer even more. Um, first 20 minutes, we, well, we could have been out of sight really. We've played some really good football. Um, we just, like I say, we just need to put the ball in the back of the net. And when you hear that from the crowd, does that remind the lads, however tough the start's been to this season, does that remind the lads what, of what is here if we start to click? Yeah, 100%. It's, uh, obviously, it's a derby, so you know the atmosphere is going to be loud anyway. And it, it was brilliant today. And it, it does, you do feel that on the pitch um, with your teammates. And like you say about clicking and stuff like that, it's, it, it gives you, brings out confidence and gives that people that little bit more. Defender or not, I know you're all working on the build-up play to the final third to getting that ball in the back of the net. Is there a sense of foreboding the more that a, a game goes on when we haven't hit the back of the net? Um, we just got to keep working on what we're we're doing, um, and I think after like the last three games, you can you can see that um, we're playing a lot differently, um, and it suits us. And we've just got to just stick with it. Manager's given us good information. Um, it's making us confident on the ball and it's just a matter of time I think before we, we start putting balls in the back of the net. An absolute fact is if you keep a clean sheet you're giving yourself a chance of winning a game. Definitely yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's tough to keep clean sheets anyway but like I say the manager's given us a base to work on and we're sticking to it, we're taking whatever he says on board and working hard for each other and yeah so that's what we're minimum really. He's talking a lot about forming an identity, giving the team a structure, is that what you're working on in training most at the moment? Yeah, it's um, really tough days, a lot of information, um, it breaks it down really simple and I think you can see it, lads are taking it on board and we've just got to, we've just got to keep working hard and getting better at what he wants. I've got to ask you how tough it is to go through the period of, of losing a manager, the uncertainty, then getting a new manager. What's that like for a player when it happens this early in the season? Yeah, it's really uncomfortable and obviously the position the, 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 the club's in um, isn't where we should be. But like you say, it's it's a tough business. Uh, it's hard when you, you don't know what manager's going to come in. Um, but fortunately, it's it's been it's been a positive and when you're just coming back from injury yourself as you were, Kel, and the new manager's coming in, that's got to be in the back of your mind, thinking, what's going on here? Yeah, especially at my age now, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a funny old game. Um, you just, you've just got to put the work in and, and do whatever the, the, man, the new manager wants at your best ability. Clearly wants his, his left and right backs to be up and down the pitch. That looks like it's something that you're enjoying, particularly out there today. Yeah, 100%. It's a nice big pitch and... Obviously, we we got a lot of joy on the on the fullbacks um, getting out and stuff like that. So it's you, you don't break what's working really. So if somebody writes scripts for football, you're going to go back to your former club where you really enjoyed yourself and you're going to score a goal. What was that all about the other night? Yeah, it was um, it was it was nice to score, but at the same time, I, I wasn't I wasn't going to celebrate. I wasn't going to celebrate. Um, but there was a few fans that were giving me a bit of stick behind the goal, um, and that one was for them. Um, but I can only say good things about Morecambe and it made me enjoy football again. Um, it's a great club, great people in the background of it. I would just wish them all the best. And now you're here, Cal, you've said it already, we, we, we're we not where we should be in terms of the players we've got here, in terms of in terms of what the club is. There must be a real determination in that dressing room to turn this round. Oh, 100%. We're working so hard be it behind uh, it, the scenes in training and stuff like that. We're, we really are grafting and, and working hard for each other, um, but fortunate, unfortunately we're, we're where we are and it's, we've just got to take game by game and keep, take, keep taking the positives out of games and, and, and try and fight our way back. And Exeter doing that next week, it's a long trip, we all know that, we've got to do it, but it's about keeping this going now, isn't it? Yeah, 100%, the momentum's there, but it's, we just need to stay, stay positive and, and do, do, just do what we're doing um, and I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Health and